Hello, this is James uh, building MetaM CP, and let me give you a quick and basic demo of how it works. So the first concept we here are at um, MCP servers, and we have to install some MCP servers. So let's go use use the search feature to install some demo ones. So I'm using this everything demo from Anthropic because it uh, kind of contains the demo for everything like tool, resources, and prompts. And let me add another basic one called Hacker News. So in the future, like we can use it to test uh, how MetaMCP aggregates multiple MCP servers. So let me also add Hacker News. And uh, now let's uh, go back to MCP Service tab. So we can see that here's Hacker News and everything. And we, uh, we, we can enter details page for it. And uh, on the first load, there's a cold start warm up time for hosting the STDIO server over the proxy. And you can see that we can uh, see the tools, the tools details, uh, what are the tools uh, parameters, uh, full schema, JSON, all the details here. And this is uh, for everything. And we can also yeah, start uh, Hacker News. You can see there are a few more tools there. And now the second concept here is namespace. So a meta MCP namespace basically just groups multiple MCP servers into one group, and I call it uh, namespace. And uh, we can later control all the namespace settings and uh, host the namespace as a unified MCP server. So let's add both Hacker News and Everything Server to uh, the uh, namespace, and I will just call it H and Every. And then let's create this uh, namespace. And uh, so now, uh, after we enter this detail view of the namespace, we can see that we have added MCP servers, Hacker News, and everything. And then, as you can see here, now in the tools management, we can view all the tools uh, from both servers. And we can also sort by servers. You can see force four tools are from Hacker News, and the others are from everything. So we can also inspect the details. And uh, so here, uh, we actually now have a basic middleware concept where a built-in middleware here is to filter out inactive uh, MCP servers and tools. So here, uh, here that's how Metas MCP's middleware brings in the control and MCP management here. So here, uh, we can actually toggle the status of the MCP servers. For example, we can uh, disable everything all together. So you can now see that we only have four tools from uh, Hacker News, and we can also enable it back. And we, we can have very granular control on the tool level. So for example, I'm remixing both MCP servers to a new MCP server, but there are you can see there are 12 active tools. And sometimes I don't want to pollute my LLM concept, uh, context with so many tools. I want to improve the efficiency of tool selection there. And I want to disable some uh, unused tools so that, I, for example, I can disable this echo, I can disable this add. And uh, so how to, uh, uh, how to like uh, check uh, whether this works or not is, here we can see we have 10 active. And now we actually go to endpoints concept to actually emit this namespace as a uh, external accessible public uh, endpoint. So let me create an endpoint for this one. And uh, and then you can see that uh, I can select a namespace to assign to this endpoint. And then uh, we can also uh, control the authentications. And we here we, uh, we can automatically create the MCP server config for this new endpoint for future inspection. So. Let's check this one. And then we have the hosted uh, URLs. Uh, we, we can host both through SSE and uh, streamable HTTP. And now if we go back to MCP servers, we can see a new one. This is the endpoint one. And then we can use the in-house MCP inspector to inspect this. Basically, the in-house inspector is an enhanced MCP inspector uh, wrapping over the official uh, MCP inspector. 
and uh, it uh, here we can see that there are three options. We can inspect the individual MCC, MCP servers. For example, I can list tools here. You can see it's a pretty, pretty similar UI experience there, but with some nicer UI, and you can quickly switch between saved MCP uh, server configs rather than you uh, start, start the official inspector every time with some uh, new inputs and you, you don't have like uh, a database to save the configs for you to switch quickly here every time. So if you just want to use the inspector, you can also consider use uh, MetaMCP. You can see it here. I can list all the tools from everything. And uh, also, let's just uh, test like uh, the add function works. And we can also go to resources. We can load more resources, read resources. We can check prompts, load prompts, simple prompts. And we can also ping the server. And uh, so now let's uh, just inspect this uh, meta MCP endpoint. And so we have aggregated Hacker News and er everything MCP into a single unified Meta MCP and uh, remember back in the namespace tab, like we actually dis disable this add and the echo tools. So let's go back to the inspector. So we can see that after release the tools. Uh, yeah, and uh, we can see how the namespacing works. It's actually adding the prefix of your custom name of the uh, MCP server. And then you can see there's no more add and echo. Uh, but we can still maybe just call this tool to check if it works. Yeah, and uh, it works perfectly. And that's overall uh, general demo. So the key concept is just first you add MCB servers, then you group them into namespaces. You control middlewares as a namespace level and then emit as a unified meta MCP endpoint. And uh, the, uh, I have future ideas to work on and iterate that continuously. For example, we can add more middlewares like logging error traces. Uh, so so many more and uh, we can also add dynamic search filters to a namespace so allow dynamic search of uh, uh, granular control of the search filters for meta mcp sub mcp servers and uh, last overall yeah. thank you